Hi, I'm Rob from Hopsing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. And this time you're looking at a bottle of Raven Black IPA from the Thornbridge Brewery in Bakewell in England. It is a 6.6% ABV Black IPA. Probably one of the first British brewed Black IPAs, from my knowledge anyway. The more kind of like prominent ones. Obviously Thornbridge, very popular brewery, very good brewery. This is Probably the first British brewed black IPA I had. And one thing I know is just um, looking at the back of this bottle. I'm not somebody who kind of like analyzes bottle labels or anything. I do like to do a bit of research, but I'm not one for reading bottle labels. But one thing that I'd never noticed before, it's got the, it's got the kind of like basic ingredients. It says, um, malt, so my sort of black and chocolate malt. And it's interestingly hopped with Nelson Sorbin. Centennial and Sriracha Ace. Both Nelson and Sriracha Ace. That's a really interesting kind of blend of hops. I once had a mini can of this on a, for Christmas Day one year. So I don't think I've touched it ever since, but it's a fantastic beer. And it, but it is a while since I've had it. And ironically, it's about three years later. No, two years later, I think, maybe. Maybe three years later. And it's near, it's Christmas, it's just after, it's actually just New Year, 2000, 1st of January, 2013. And I'm coming back to a beer that I had about three years ago, nearly to the day. So the beer in the glass, pretty much black, I mean, there is some kind of hints actually, around the edges of the glass really, there is a dark brown, slightly reddish, but more of like a dark chestnut -y kind of colour. The head, lovely, tight, fluffy, marshmallow of a head. Um, Off-white, with that kind of beige, beige kind of tint. So let's check out the aroma. Oh, wow. As I said, I, I think even since Keelan took over as kind of uh, brewery manager, I think that's his role. I don't think I've had this journey's reign. It was like when back when Kelly was still in charge. I last had this beer, and this smells really nice and hoppy. It's got a real big kind of punchy citrus, a hint of the dark malt really, and is it black malt? Did I say? It's got more of the black malt, that kind of acrid carbon kind of charcoal quality, it has got a, a bit of a wheaty note, slightly grassy, that weird, I think I'm getting the sort of it's, it's, it's that kind of weird, slightly mint leaf kind of thing, there's, yeah there's a herbal note to it, but that smells lovely, a slight beefy gravy granule kind of thing, it's, it's really interesting, first time I smell it, got loads of citrus, more it developed, got a bit more of the complexities of the nose. Anyway, let's dive in. It's been a while. Cheers. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Really interesting. That first flavour came uh, quite, it, once again, that kind of beefy thing. I mean, I'm a big fan of um, proper South African kind of traditional built on. I got a bit of a, it reminded me of the outside of that, that kind of um, beef built on. I got a campfire note then as well, as I, as I inhaled whilst I was drinking it. So mildly smoky, slightly beefy. And then, a nice gentle um, orangey citrus, but more of a tart, tart orange. Mm. Super drinkable. Slightly sherbet note there. It's like a raspberry sherbet. Then it starts creeping up on you. It's a coffee, really bitter chocolate. Mm. And again, it's that, hits that point where it becomes really nice and citrusy, big, pithy grapefruit, pithy orange, juicy grapefruit, I'd say. <coughs> On the burp, I'm actually getting a lovely coffee flavour, bit of bit of blueberry, I'd say. Yeah, 
yeah, lovely beer. I think, and as far as IPA, black IPA goes, this is a corker. Because it tastes more like an IPA than a lot, some black IPAs that aren't mashed like a correct IPA should be. I mean, it's, it's, it's all about washing that grain, extracting a little bit of flavour, bringing in a nice little bit of roasty quality in there, but primarily extracting the colour and leaving a big hoppy flavour. Obviously, they've accounted for that with a shitload of light hops in this beer as well. Good amount of bitterness as well. But plenty of flavour. But plenty of IPA identity remains in this beer. And I'm, I'm excited that it's as good as it is. I think it's better than it was when it first was um, created, this beer. I'm impressed. You know, might buy another bottle tomorrow. Might just have to do that on my lunch break. Very good indeed. So that is a bottle of Raven Black IPA from Thornbridge Brewery in Bakewell, England. 6.6% ABV. An absolute winner. One of the f front runners of uh, the form of the guess, one of the originators of the, this style in the UK. And still an absolute cracker, and I'd say that's definitely down to the current kind of um, regime of Thornbridge with that experience uh, that they brought from their respective breweries, making probably better bottled beer now than they ever have before. So yeah, that's an absolute winner. Nice work to all the lads of Thornbridge. Lovely beer. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popsy.com. See you next time. Cheers.